I get to review some pretty fun gadgets, and I recently had a chance to try out one that can make your home more beautiful and more connected. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and this device is Mural. It's a smart, connected art display that can show off a wide variety of paintings and photographs, either from old world masters or your own snaps. I had a chance to spend a few weeks with a mural in my home for testing and review, and this is what I found. Mural is a large framed art installation. It looks just like a painting or a picture. Mural can be placed horizontally or vertically so it can fit any space. It plugs in and connects to Wi-Fi so you can connect to the Mural Art database to get access to a full array of art, and there is a subscription fee for that. Setting up Mural was pretty easy, but it wasn't without its glitches. Now you can easily hang it on your wall with the included cleat and screws, but initially I elected to lean it up against the wall here gallery style. There's also a really neat swivel bracket that the company makes that allows you to hang mural securely and swivel it to either portrait or landscape easily just by twisting it. First, you'll attach a special bracket to the back of mural and there's already a space here for this if you wanna do it. First, you'll mark your spot on the wall. Then you'll drill some holes for the included metal wall anchors. Tap them in and then attach the bracket to the wall using the screws. From there, you'll slide in a second cleat. This allows the cable to pass freely through the back. Then hang your mural. That special bracket basically allows you to twist the mural either horizontally or vertically, giving you access to a whole different array of art and a new and different configuration. Setup seemed easy, but it didn't go entirely smoothly. You'll need to connect the mural to power and then download the mural app. The canvas will walk you through some of the instructions while the app handles the rest. Now you're supposed to be able to connect the canvas to your phone by connecting to the Wi-Fi signal put out by Mural, but initially I couldn't see Mural's signal. I went through the setup process numerous times and only once did I locate the Mural's Wi-Fi signal. It seemed to work just fine, but after a few minutes I got an error message that said I need to fix my Wi-Fi connection issues, and so I had to start the setup process over again. I did this several more times, but again, I just couldn't find the Mural Wi-Fi network. After unplugging and replugging in the canvas a few more times, I decided to leave it alone for 10 minutes. Then I came back, loaded up my Wi-Fi settings on the phone. This time there was the Mural network and it connected easily. So finally I was connected and set up. Now once everything is ready to go, the Mural will walk you through a video tutorial of the canvas, including how to operate it. You've got control over the device using gestures in front of the canvas or by navigating the Mural app. It's really easy to control Mural and browse all the artwork using the app. You can choose which art you want to show, which playlists to run or skip certain art, or set it permanently. You can also use those gestures to change things up or to access the settings menu. Famous Canadian painter Emily Carr's works are available on Mural, along with other artists like Frida Kahlo, Norman Rockwell, and more. You can choose works based on the color, the subject matter, or content, as well as you can run specific works from specific museums like the MoMA, the Tate London, the Louvre, and many other top international galleries. The problem with some display panels or photo frames has been that they look like computer screens. They can be glaringly bright, shiny, and fake looking. Mural is definitely different. It's got a soft light that I wouldn't even really call a glow. It looks like realistic art, not like a blaring screen. Plus, Mural has adaptive brightness, which automatically adjusts the canvas's brightness to match the ambient light in the room. To get access to the Mural Library, you do need a membership, and the subscription costs about $4.95 US per month. It's also about $39.95 for a year. If you're not interested in the Mural membership, you'll have access to a sampler list of art only, a small collection of the top works, but you will also have the ability to upload as many of your own images as you'd like. If you want to place your own images on Mural, it's really easy. No external thumb drives required. Just head to the Mural app and give the app permission to access your photos. Choose the pictures you want from your phone and create a playlist of photos. Then select Send to Canvas. It's easy and fun and makes it so personal. Wi-Fi connectivity means you can operate the Mural remotely even if you're not at home. And one thing I enjoyed doing with this feature was sending photos to the canvas while I was at work and my husband was at home. It was a nice surprise for him to see special photos up on the big screen. Conveniently, it's possible to use Alexa voice control to operate your Mural. Alexa, next on Mural. 
Okay. To get it set up, you're going to need to go to the Alexa app on your phone and then locate the hamburger menu. Choose Smart Home and then scroll down to Smart Home Skills. Search for Mural and then when you find the skill, elect to enable those Smart Home Skills on Mural. You'll sign into your Mural account and then choose to authorize Alexa. Then you can double check in the Your Devices list in the Alexa app that Mural's there. Mine actually came up labeled TV initially, so I had to click to rename it. And that's probably a good idea as Alexa will know it by its default name. I found that Alexa had a hard time recognizing commands regarding Mural, and I wondered if it was because of the spelling. Because the device's name is spelled M-E-U-R-A-L, I decided to change it. So I changed the spelling inside the Alexa app of the name of the device to the more phonetic Mural, M-U-R-A-L. And then I tried using Alexa, and from there on it worked perfectly. So here's an example of some of the things you can say to Alexa about Mural. Alexa, turn Mural off. Okay. Alexa, turn Mural on. Okay. Alexa, set Mural's brightness to 80%. Okay. There's a bunch more commands you can do as well, but having that voice control is really convenient. Mural looks good both day and night. This is full dark outside with some ambient light in the room, and as you can see, it's not too bright. Despite a few glitches in the setup, Mural is really easy to use. The display overall is lovely and realistic, and I really like the nice variety of content in the subscription service. It's definitely worth it if you're thinking of this display, in my opinion. The special swivel bracket as well, which is an extra cost, is a nice addition, particularly if you want to enjoy both horizontal and vertical images to change things up. Overall, I think if you're looking to add something special to your home's decor and you can afford both the price of the software and the subscription fees, you're going to love this device. Mural sells for about $800 Canadian for the black and white version. You can get it from Best Buy Canada or you can get more information from Mural.com and that's M-E-U-R-A-L.com. If you want to read more about the mural canvas, head over to techgadgetscanada.com. I've got a full blog right up there and you can post any questions you have either there or of course here on the YouTube channel. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch and enjoy. I'm Erin. Catch me on Twitter or Instagram until the next video. You can find me at Erin L Y Y C.